The ocean undoubtedly remains the most mysterious part of our planet. With only a tiny fraction of it explored, there are always new and interesting sea creatures to be discovered. Still, when a group of scientists in Australia recently made an astonishing discovery, even they couldn't believe their luck. The creature they discovered was a ruby sea dragon, and it was the first time one had ever been spotted in the wild. You just have to see this for yourself. It's hard to believe that a critter like this exists. Sea dragons are marine fish in the Cygnathidae family, which also includes such creatures as pipefishes, pipe horses, and seahorses. However, there are only three species of sea dragons currently known to scientists, and they're mostly very rare. One species, the common sea dragon, is otherwise known as the weedy sea dragon, or by its scientific name, Philopteryx taniolatus. Its body even has leaf-like parts that make it easy for it to camouflage itself. Then there's the leafy sea dragon, which is also known as the Glowert's sea dragon, or by its scientific name, Phycoderus equus. This creature is also able to blend into its surroundings by camouflaging itself. This time, it's mimicking floating seaweed. As incredible as these creatures are, the ruby sea dragon is largely considered the most special sea dragon of all. Amazingly, it had never been encountered in the wild. Well, until recently, that is. Scientists only discovered the species recently, with the first description of it appearing in 2015. Earlier in 2007, one was found lifeless on a shore, misidentified and then placed among other sea dragons in an Australian museum. It's difficult to overstate the historical and scientific importance of finally witnessing such a rare creature in its natural habitat. The ruby sea dragon is so uncommon that its numbers haven't been evaluated yet by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. This wasn't the first time the scientists were lucky enough to capture a creature in the wild that had long eluded them either. Take the giant squid, for example, which was so rare that some even questioned its existence. It wasn't until 2004 pictures of a live giant squid in its own habitat were finally taken by Japanese researchers. Even then, it wasn't until 2012 that a live adult squid was filmed in its natural habitat. Though the giant squid might be more famous than the ruby sea dragon, they're both pretty incredible. Imagine how the scientists must have felt when they laid eyes on these amazing creatures.